You and I are here, we're here in front of the statue of Mother Mary. Couldn't be any better than that, and we're here to honor Ed Watson being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Boy, you are just on fire. It doesn't get any better than that, <laughs> does it? Let me start off by saying this. I could not think of another individual who is more deserving than Ed to be inducted into the Bellarmine Hall of Fame. My name is Frank Tialdi. I graduated in 1965 with Ed Watson. And my name is Rich Keith, and I graduated in 1965 with Ed Watson. Both Ed, Bob Long, and I have known each other for 70 years. We attended grammar school, high school, and college together. The perfect trifecta. We're best friends. We met when we were four years old. Our dads worked together at the shipyard, and uh, I'd gone over to his house. But it was really months later when we both went to kindergarten at Our Lady of Angels in Burlingame that our relationship really began. The best friendships are not defined in years, but by impact. And those who know Ed Watson would agree that throughout his life, he has made a tremendous impact. He has done so many wonderful things for others, yet he never looks for any kind of recognition. Ed went from Bellarmine to the University of San Francisco and began his career as a certified public accountant. After graduating from Berkeley School of Law in 1972, he joined his first firm. For the past 50 years, Ed has served as a trusted attorney in the Bay Area and been an advisor to countless families and organizations. Over five decades, he has distinguished himself in the practice of law through an outstanding work ethic and a commitment to treating people with kindness and respect. I've often said that if I had to trust anyone with the lives of my family, it would be Ed Watson. I've always introduced Ed and referred to Ed as the smartest and kindest man I know. And that is the truth. Ed and his late wife, Liz, led their lives in service of others, becoming deeply involved with local nonprofits, community organizations, religious groups, and their lifelong parish of Our Lady of Angels. Liz actually started a preschool at Our Lady of Angels, and Ed, of course, was the business and accountancy behind that. Of course, that was one time that Liz got a little upset with Ed. He'd just done their tax return for the preschool, and uh, he had made the mistake of telling Liz that she was earning a buck 25 an hour. In 2005, Ed was awarded the prestigious Ozenum Service Medallion by the St. Vincent de Paul Society for demonstrating superlative service to others without seeking personal recognition or favor. When I talked with him the day after he heard about the nomination, he says, I don't deserve this. I said, right. Ed, for God's sakes, if anybody deserves it, you do. And I was kind of like a blithering idiot. I kept on talking and talking and talking, but he need, I mean, it's like, he needs to be acknowledged. And his wife, Liz, you know, she's here with us. There's no doubt in my mind that the very moment that Ed receives that award, his induction, mm -hmm that in heart, mind, and spirit, that Liz will be right next to him. Liz was not the only strong woman in his life. Ed's mother raised all her children with faith and purpose. Ed has always shown love, respect, dignity, and compassion for others from all walks of life throughout his entire life. When he helped her set up a nonprofit in the Tenderloin in San Francisco to help the poor and disadvantaged who lived in the Tenderloin. Ed's sister is a Sister of Mercy nun. He contributes to the friars there. Just a little bit about his faith. Eddie and I started out, we were altar boys together. That's where the foundation comes in. And I'll also tell you this about his mother. Mrs. Watson daily went to mass, every single day. 
led by faith and a desire to repay the generosity that had enabled Ed to attend Bellarmine, he and Liz created a scholarship in 2018 that provides financial assistance to Bellarmine students who come from single-parent homes. One year I got to sit next to Ed and we had a phenomenal, phenomenal conversation. And he said, you know why I wanted to help Ed Bellarmine financially? I said, why? He says, because when I was a kid, he says, we didn't have a father in our home anymore. And an alum from Bellarmine who lived in Boise, Idaho, paid for his you know, education at Bellarmine. And he says, and I wanted to do that for other kids. And that's what he's done. Jesus says in the Gospel of Matthew, the most important commandment is this, love your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Ed Watson's life has been an embodiment of this call to service. Congratulations, Ed, from all your classmates of 1965 who have supported and nominated you. And also a big thank you to all the members of the Burlingame Nomination Committee for the Hall of Fame. Ed, you have earned this great and wonderful honor bestowed upon you by Bellarmine. We all love you. May God bless you. And always remember, Go Bells! <laughs> <laughs>